All right. Let's check this out. This Live Alive. This is OG Live Alive. This is the, the one that came out for the Super Famicom. Oh. That's right. That's right. Okay, so. We can start anywhere. I love all the characters. I really love the pixel art in this game. I remember being a kid and seeing the sprites for this come up on Spider's Resource and being so blown away by all of the different, like, battle sprites and stuff. Because obviously the overworld is, like, really small, like, square, soft, you know, standard. But then the these, these guys are great. I don't know who I want to play as. Yo, what's up, Raycat? Let's play, uh, let's play, uh... The Wrestler. A fierce youth has entered a global fighting tournament to experience and learn the combat styles of the world. He will see many unique techniques and will use them to achieve the ultimate goal. The title of the strongest in the world. Is this alright? Can't believe they added a hipster woke robot to this game all those years ago. This guy? Yeah. Perhaps. The ball has a cool hat. I do like his cool hat. Should we start as the robot? Behold the transport ship Cogito Ergo Sum and route to planet Earth. Is that guy a baseball? Be cute. All right, I'm going to be this guy. Inside, a new kind of life form is being created. The robot created by Kato the mechanic will become intimately involved as events spiral out of control on a board. Is this okay? Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Boom. Boom. Oh snap. Space Dock TSQ. Number five. Departure report. Vessel name Kogigo Kogido Ergo Sum. Vessel type civilian transport. Destination Earth. Cargo alien life form. Crew five. Passengers one. Military in charge of cargo. I love Mr. Baseball and Rollerblades. <laughs> How's the volume? Is it loud enough? I'm gonna turn it up. Turn it up. Oh. This is epic. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, orders from Earth with regard to life form. Study in great detail. Transport it to a base at all costs. So I'm on a spaceship with a life form on it? Is that me? This is BS, I ripped this all off out of Fallout 4's intro. Shit. What's up, Darth? This is epic. Science fiction chapter, Mechanical Heart. This is Live Alive, baby. Imagine Miyamoto and Kojima coming up with all these stories and characters back in the day. They could never. <laughs> Finished. Best I could do was an Italian plumber. <laughs> That's odd. Look at me. That should have done it. That should have done it. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it. It moved. All right. Do you understand me? I'm Kato. That's K A T O. Kato. Good morning. Or. Say that right. Say, that's right. You don't have a name yet. Hmm, let's see. Since you're round, how about Rover? Like an exploration vehicle. Nah, that sounds like a dog's name. Anyway. I've got it. How about I give you a silly name, completely opposite to your nature? 
You can be cube. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Come with me. What's wrong with the Italians? <laughs> My favorite. Personal diary. Month X. Day X. I finished prototype one. I ran some basic structural tests, but they turned out less successful than I'd hoped. Month X. Day X. I'm gathering data for prototype two. I've got the walking system done. This is just me making a game. I've begun building prototype three. It's going pretty well. Month X. Day X. I finally complete completed prototype three once I perform my routine check of the ship I'll run one last test only one more week till we're back on earth tomorrow the other five crew members awaken from cold sleep this literally sounds like game development I'd really like to get it working before then <laughs> that's just that's just what my update my devlog looks like Oh, right. You remember this game? You hated this chapter? Whatever. What's up, Usagi? Welcome in. Then we'll get it. This is the first one we're doing, so we'll get through it. And we're going to enjoy it. Rachel. Oh, they put a Rachel in there? They put a Kirk in there? Come with me. I have to register you as a member of the crew. This chapter is for nerds. Uh, this game we're playing is Live Alive. Hey, careful, don't touch that. Oh. Let's see now. Here we go. Grab the bobblehead near the beginning on a desk. Okay, okay, okay. Please state your business. Good morning. I need to register a new crew member. Understood. Classification. Worker robot. What? <gasps> so his normal name is Cube? I don't like that. I need a better name than that. You're backseating. That's uh, that's okay. I actually I actually don't mind backseating. I'm gonna be all uh, pretty real with all of you. Uh, if you're not aware of that, I don't mind a little bit of direction as long as it's not like you know intentional. To <laughs> Bro, did you really just say pube? Um. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. At lunchtime on a twelve on a Sunday. Oh my god. Narco, this is sick what you've done. Bobbleheads are like the Funko Pomps of the nineties. It's true. Are you proud? Pube. I I really did laugh at that a lot. So I guess I guess that's it. Registering. Done. Now you can come and go as you please. Mind each of the crew's individual cabins of security locks. If you don't have the owner's permission, you won't be able to get in. Do you want me to repeat that? Hell no. Alright then, pube. <laughs> Now, I want you to follow me on your own. I need to test out your AI. I'll be somewhere on this floor. Your job will be to come and find me. I'm ready. I'm the ship's mother computer. I know all about you. You're the first robot that Kato completed. I look forward to working with you. I'm cute. I'm a cute guy. Good job. Beyond this door is the cold sleep room. 
During long trips through space, we use this place to go into a cryogenic stasis. Don't suppose you'd have to, though. Well, please wake everyone up. Thanks. I don't know if I want to keep watching if you're playing as a baseball named Pew. Well, I got bad news. There's a nameplate here. Preserve capsule. The switch is blinking. Press it. Good morning. <laughs> There's a nameplate here. Cargo handler Huey. Switch is blinking. At least the baseball has razor ra roller blades. True. Uh. Mm. Rachel. Rachel has her own room. Huh? What's this? Ooh. What's this? Pilot Kirk. The switch is blinking. Mm hmm. That's a spirit pube. Thanks. That's cube. Is that really the best name he comes up with? Rise and shine, everyone. Aw, I like him. So you finally managed a model that doesn't fall apart when it's turned on, huh? Yeah, he's called Pew. I'm Rachel, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, I'm Kirk. Um... Mm. Huh, Huey's still asleep. Hey, Pew, why don't you wake up Sleeping Beauty here? Ugh. Kirk, come on, I thought I told you to lay off. What the hell? Hey, Huey, finally awake, huh? That's the robot that Kato is building. Huh? A robot? Oh, you finally finished him. My name's Huey. Rachel kind of looks like Tara from FF6. I agree. Corporal Darth, how are you feeling? Or like Celeste. Hmm. You ever heard, hear of anyone who actually felt refreshed after waking from cold sleep? Corporal. The robot that Kato is building is done. He's called Pube. Hmm. Is that thing going to be wandering around the ship like a loose rodent? Just make sure it stays out of the way. I'm heading to the break room. That's a military man for you. So inflexible. Eh, don't worry about it too much. It's a good thing Pube doesn't have a full head of hair. It's true. <laughs> Just growing one, one or two every now and then. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. When we wake up from cold sleep, we have a meeting. Uh, we have a meeting in the break room. Come on, you're part of the crew too, so you're obligated to attend. Don't worry about Corporal Darth, he'll get used to it. Huh, that's so like you to be treating him as if he were human. Lice? Oh, you really think so? <sighs> Evil farter, man. You, you're right, dude. You're right. <laughs> I'm just a little robot on the run, guys. That's all you gotta know, okay? Which floor? Oh. I'm sorry, I'll chill out. I, 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 you know, I feel like we're, um, we're a PSA at this point. That, that's, it's something no one would want. Lice in your pubes. <laughs> I can't take these. A name's written on it. Oh, it's all their spacesuits. 
Are they just going to abandon me in the ship, dude? If something goes wrong? They're not going to put me in a suit as well? <laughs> mm. What is this room? It's like a holding cell. I just keep going deeper in here, huh? Level 2? The original 2D sprites? Yeah, it's really nice. It's a really good uh, environment, too. I like the the sound in the... Like, you can hear the ship as well. It's pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of uh, Space Odyssey. Two thousand and one, a space odyssey. Great one, yeah, dude. What a ride. I'm lost in this place. can't stop thinking about the um, the Jay Easy meme. I don't know why. Like I was never book smart, I'm money smart. Can't go in. Makes me more intelligent. Call me Mr. Rock Festival. I got hella pains. It's a pretty good line, not gonna lie. Mega Man comes out January 7th. Don't worry, bruh. Reminds me of the ship in Alien Isolation. The ship just goes deeper and deeper. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've never played those games. They kind of freak me out a little bit. Oh, right to the sick bay. Take me to the sick bay, because I'm sick, bay. This robot looks a lot like Pube. Doesn't have any energy source attached to it, though. Well, how do we fix that? Do I got a menu? Oh, I do got a menu. I got no item, though. Oh, you can just save anywhere. I love that. There's two, there's two Pubes. We've collected two of them. Maybe we go this way? I like that I can stand and just evaluate my door. Oh, I can't go in there. I'm just going deeper and deeper. You are right. Maybe it's like alien isolation. Begged him to let me play it. It's a cool game. Oh, this is sick. Okay. Maintenance systems? Okay, everything functioning at normal capacity. That was cool. What's Nave communication system? Checking main antenna? Mm -mm. All clear. Oh, sub antenna? Mm -mm. All clear. Okay. Engine block type. Mm, all clear. Let me drive the boat. Course synchronization. Mm, okay. Hmm. That's fun.
Oh, this is an elevator? No, we don't want that. You, you watch the movies, but you never made it past the fifth movie. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Alien. Very cool, though. Let me just check that other one, just to be sure. Okay. Beep. Okay, I think we're done here. So maybe we take the elevator and we take it to... Somebody... Corner of the floor? Um... Oh, I can run. Oh, thank God. Wow. This place is deep. Oh, here they are. Hey there, pube. Kirk's really good at this game. Oh. Man, this game's a bomb. What the game, though? Congratulations, a new high score. Damn straight. You want to take a shot at it? Yep. It's Captain Square. Oh, shit. What do you know about Captain Square? Oh. Mercury? Oh. Oh. Hit him in the... Right where it hurts. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I see. I see how this works. Uh-oh. How much? 60? That's not bad. They did a hell of a good job with the remake. Yeah, everybody loved the remake. And, um... Everybody loved the remake, and... I've always wanted to play this. And I just never got to it. So I thought today would be a fun time to try and just... See if we can get a little bit in there. Whoa! See how deep we can get in. And if it sticks. And then I'll probably pick up the remake. So if I keep moving... Oh, okay, eventually they'll attack. I didn't know there was an ancient version of this. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Taupe suicide? Oh my god. So do they mess my attack up? They do. Yoko Shimomura's first OST. No way. Hell yeah. Good. Oh, do you- you messed my move up? Ugh, my god. Oh. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, and he's poisoned. Oh shit, I want to do that. The big boss music of this game is titled Megalomania. Oh! Oh, that's so cool, I never knew that. Oh no! 
Well. I got two Dr. Peppers. Let's go. Time to tell DoorDash my order was wrong. Get a refund. <laughs> I'm glad you got a sandwich. Two, I got uh, two Dr. Peppers and free food. That's how. That's exactly how you win. Uh, yo, look at these guys thinking they're gonna kick my butt, dude. I'm gonna kick their butt. Watch this. Look at my butt. Look at look at my butt on the screen, and then look at this. Watch that. Oh. Never mind, don't look at that. Look somewhere else. Go change change the window. Oh shit. Whoa! What's going on with the floor? These probably guys these guys probably will not want me to do this. Or perhaps will not let me do this, I should say. One? Hmm. Waterfield. Oh. Free food does taste better. Agreed. No. Fuck those gig delivery companies. Honestly, I don't really buy delivery anymore because those they've kind of killed the market. They've made it too expensive um, and too reliant on tips. Kind of sucks. Stick it to him every chance you can. Yeah, I just pick up my food. Whoa! What the hell? Does this just keep going till I lose? Wait, why would you do that? No, don't do that. One time they delivered a pizza to the wrong building, I found it, but still called to be like, what the fuck? You just described the entire food industry? Yeah, you're probably right, Ring. I don't know that much about it. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. We're playing uh, Live Alive. Super Famicom game. And I think, I thought maybe I was cooking these guys, but it seems like they're just healing themselves. They're all pissed off. Sorry. I mean, they're fully healed, though. Come on. Shrimping! There's some shrimps in the chat right now. Bolivar is effed up too many times. I want to deal with it. Yeah, honestly. I just order from local stuff I can go pick up. Shit. I don't know if the floor is lava for them or not. He's got every everything known to man wrong with him. Uh, what's the spin one? Shrimp. Shrimp. No, stop healing. Too expensive, exactly. What's up, Yuck? Wanna play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses now? I've uh, not played that one. I played the... There was a PS1 Yu-Gi-Oh! game f called like Forbidden Kingdom or something. Um, that was pretty whack, but uh, I actually really liked it as a kid. I thought it was cool. Forbidden Memories, that's right, that's right. Whoa, he's actually fighting me. Very good game. Oh, maybe I just misremember, dude. Yo, what up, Plague? What's going on, homie? Welcome in. Nothing like a real game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was why I didn't like it. I loved, uh... I loved the card game. Wasn't Forbidden Memories based on, like, a pre-release rule set? Maybe. Eternal Duelist Soul on the GBA? Oh, that game was cool, too. That game was cool. I did play a little bit of that. What's up, Black Shuriken? Welcome back, dude. 
Shrimp and naan is my favorite combo meal? That's true. I do appreciate a good shrimp. Why am I getting busted by these guys? They're not even killing me. It's just taking forever. I'm taking in from the atmosphere. I don't know what that means. That's what that means. Oh, great. Cool. Oh, hello. Hello. Mm. Duelist of the Roses have this type of grid-based turn-based combat. Oh, that's cool. I think the grid-based combat's pretty unique. This is a little slow for me right now, but I'm also talking to all of you and shit, you know? And just, you know, hanging out. But yeah, I liked I liked the PS1 game one, I, and I'd probably play that again sometime. That would be a good game to stream, actually. We could play that later today. Maybe. Depends on if we like this game in Dark Half. Because I want to do at least... Uh, I want to put some time into this game in Dark Half today. And then maybe Snoopy. This is so slow. Come on, fellas. The South Park RPG said this great thing. Dude, I gotta tell you, I tried to play the South Park game. I just... It was too... I cringed too much, you know? Really just wasn't... Wasn't... Wasn't kicking for me like I hoped it would. I've noticed that South Park has kind of aged pretty bad. Not sure how you guys feel. Those enemies look a bit like mutants from Chrono Trigger. I agree, they really do. Hmm. Never forget playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on our lunch break in the fourth grade with our homebrewed rule set. We were like 11 and didn't read the rule book. They said we couldn't bring the cards anymore. That happened to me with Pokemon as well. Uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, Pokemon cards eventually got banned in school. South Park is cringe. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. <laughs> South Park is cringe. So, you know, I have happy memories with South Park, but the but yeah, just I just can't really enjoy it anymore. <sighs> we won. I love making up my own rules for Pokemon TCG back in the day. Yeah, yo, these guys are cool. This just keeps going. This was shortly after the small moral panic over kids fighting each other over Pokemon cards. Yeah, it's crazy because that stuff came back. People, kids are fighting. People are fighting over Pokemon cards all over again. I had a teacher tell me that Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were the devil's instruments. It's true. You were born in the Bible Belt. <laughs> no, but it's true. They are. They are the devil's instruments. The the lie here is that the the, the devil's cool. The devil's actually kind of cool. What is this guy doing? What a fool. Yeah, they just they just uh, banned them in my school because we were playing with them in class and stuff, and they were ang angry about it. Oh, I'm in an electric field. That's probably not good. Come here. Hail Pokemon. <laughs> exactly. Watch this. Watch me whip, and then watch me, in fact, nay nay. Panic over a Harry Potter and Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Both of them. Oh shit, we didn't win. I love this guy. The track is very nice too. I wish there were more tracks for this little mini game though. Kids were gambling and fighting over the Pokemon. Yeah. Right on. Do I get anything for all these things I'm beating? Or am I just wasting time? Oh my god. Silicone resin? Oh, 69? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting cooked. I remember printing out Exodia on cardstock and trying to flex. Everyone knew I was lying, but I was so proud. That's pretty cool that you did that. 
maybe the maybe the intention isn't that isn't right, but the fact that you put it you printed out on actual Exodia was pretty sick. Didn't TPS get Exodia's PP at TMG? He did. He got a card of Exodia's Wiener. You need to watch the enemy's attack range more closely. Okay, thanks, buddy. I feel like I just wasted a lot of time playing that game. Hey, what's up? This is a book. Do you want to read it? <laughs> sure. Oh, he put me he put me on the table. The dawn of the universal age. It's a story about people who lived centuries ago. I really like reading about people like that. They were so adventurous. Ah, ha, ha. that's because you're a chicken. You'd be too scared to do that stuff yourself. Pew, you ought to explore the ship some. See the world, so to speak. Learn on your own. Hey, Kato, can he, you know, actually do anything? Not at the moment, but he should be able to pick up all sorts of useful skills. Why don't we teach him how to make coffee? Pew, come over here. <gasps> I'm a coffee robot. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts machine. My name shouldn't be Pube, it should be Duncan. Go ahead. Make some coffee? Hell yeah. Pogs are mid, Crazy Bones is where, it at, where it's at. Pogs were, Pogs were cool, Crazy Bones I chewed on as a kid. I don't know why or how. I don't know how I didn't choke. Hey, not bad. Let's have a little taste. Go, go, Crazy Bones fans in the chat. Blah, man, that's bitter. Sorry. Got into fights over games of Pokemon cards. Nice. Dropped in a, in one punch. Oh, any Go Go Crazy Bones fans in the chat? Hell yeah. Pogs are amazing. Hmm. The captain's light. First, I read that I thought you said the captain's latte. I was like, yes, I made the captain a latte. I ended up cutting that little sticker in the bottom corner of the cards from an actual card, glued it on. Wait, 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 I remember my friend trying to sell me Skyfer, however you spell it, and turned out to be a sticker. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. I ended up cutting that little sticker in the bottom corner of the cards from an actual card, glued it on again. Oh, that's nice, though. At least he got in there. I convinced myself as a kid that I was the only one in the world buying Go-Go's at my Walgreens. Uh, I think like my there was either a vending machine or my grandmother or something got me those crazy bones and then I just accumulated a ton of them and then I don't know they just were in random places in my house they're probably still in random places in my house mm -hmm. bootleg Beyblades Korean Beyblades remember that shit in the show had a friend tell me if forget American Beyblades Korean Beyblades is where it's at Oh, so much fun stuff. Even like Dungeon Dice Monsters where they didn't go anywhere with it. I had a little, um, I had a, I had a, a Blue Eyes White Dragon f figure, uh, that I think was for that. I think that was the Dungeon Dice Monsters. Cause I thought it was going to be like a role play thing. Cause I, my, a friend of mine had the one game about it and then same, I didn't do anything with it. It just sat in my room and then I lost it and then, I, you know, whatever. My mom was super uh, savvy to eBay back in the day. So she would just find me anything I was looking for. As soon as something cool was out there and I was looking for it, she could like, she was like picking it up off eBay if she could find it for a deal. And that was back when you could get away with cheap shipping from, you know, other places. Weird trophy things a little stands that you moved almost like Monopoly. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's exactly what it felt like or, or looked like. I'm going to grab some more water real, bit, real quick. And my coffee. There we go. There we go. Awashima. I'm not sure I know what that is. Or who that is. UB Funkies. Those are the coolest? I don't know what those are, I think. I did Pokemon cards. I did Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I did Digimon cards. I did... 
I did some Legos. I did uh, the, what were the Legos called? The Bionicles. I did all those back in the day. Um, I'm trying to think of what other collecty things I had like as a kid. Series one go goes, oh, the heart of the cards. What else did I collect? I don't know. Video games. I collected NES games and SNES games and stuff. I think actually, instead of playing Snoopy game, we'll play this game. We'll play uh, Sheeran the Wanderer. Because that'll fit in the theme of the games we are playing this afternoon. Um, let me get back into it. Sorry I got distracted. Now I'm just thinking about nostalgia. I used, always used to lose my toys and trading cards in my room watching Toy Story. That made me think they were scared of me. Didn't help. <laughs> Toy Story, I think, did a lot of stuff to kids' psyche. Bro, when are you going to play Dragon Quest? Oh, dude, should I play Dragon Quest today? I'm down to play whatever today, really. I just wanted to play some SNES stuff. I needed some inspo, like, real bad. Ed Sheeran the Wanderer. I would never play that game, bro. He got me timed out on Twitter. Oh. This is my room? No. It's a telemeter. It runs a checkup on the patient. Which one? Wait, Narcotis, can I play the SNES one? Uh, none of that. I got into collecting older games in my late teens and early 20s because the 2008 economy thing hit my family hard and I had a minimum wage job and those are the only ones I could afford to play. Yo, now it's ridiculous. Did you hold on to those? Because they're worth a lot of money now probably, huh? The retro gaming market's a horrendous scam. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. Especially for the stuff you want. I like to hunt down the games that I really, really love and enjoy. Um, that's been my, my hobby lately, but like trying to find some stuff is pretty insane. You'll unsubscribe if I don't play a Dragon Quest? I know, I need to play one. Quite literally never played any. Except a little bit of 1, a little bit of 11, and uh, some RPG Maker fan games. So I owe it to myself, huh? I don't know where I'm going. I've just been wandering this place. Captain's late. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Play DQ3? Fortunately, unlike you all, I haven't had many pleasant experiences with robots. But that isn't Pube's fault. <gasps> oh, hey, it's the captain. My apologies for the delay. How are you all feeling? We're all fine. That's good. Hmm? What's that I see over there? Oh, that's my robot. His name's Pube. Oh, you finished it. I'd love to take a closer look later on. Well, I don't really like anything. To, I don't really have anything to report. Sorry for taking your time. That's all. Okay, that's it. Sheesh. Some meeting. One game, and it's basically over. Ha! You know you. You know you like them that way. Ha! <laughs> True that. They die first. I had a copy of Fantasy Star Online for GameCube and I got several hundred dollars for it a few years ago. Went to rent. Also, I was actually playing them, so I put little effort into keeping them in quality condition. Not that I didn't take care of them. Yeah, 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 I feel that. Like, they're worn in a little bit. Um, but it's it's a shame to, like, part with your your copy like copies from your youth and stuff. But, I mean, they're always out there and the market fluctuates. I tried to find it years ago and I forgot where I buried it. <laughs> you buried something? 
Oh, I tried making a time capsule and put my solid gold Pikachu card that they used to give away from some fit food places in it and buried it in my backyard. Oh, dude, I actually have... Oh, wait. I found this at a thrift. And it's one of the balls for those. The solid gold card, like, sits right in here. I used to have uh, a bunch of those, too. I think they were from Burger King. The ball was cool, man. That was like a toy in its own. You know, it, like, opened and closed really nicely. This one's seen better days, but... Really fun. I'd give you the card if I ever found it. I'll find one maybe one day. I found my copies of Pokemon Black and White last year. I don't have a console for them anymore though. Hmm. In college I found I had a roommate that actually like left me a box of games. I don't know if she left me them or she just didn't want them, but found found a big box of Pokemon games in her closet and I ended up selling most of them. And they were black and white one and two and uh like one weird like side DS game. And I took them to GameStop because I'm a fool. And I should have held on to them because I've never played Black and White or Black and White 2. Still have that in the little golden gold plate and car, uh, card. Oh, that's nice. The reflective red sheen. Look at that. Look, you can see my light in there. There's my light. There's the light. It's like a little uh, guy. My copy of Black is complete in box. I think I might give it to Megan. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, Megan Hurts. She would take good care of it. Her collection is pretty pristine. If you owned a card, you could put it in there. I have a Charizard card. It's my old one from when I was a kid. I still have that. It's beat up, though. It looks like crap. Great news. Hey, Kodo, want to see something cool? Come to the cargo bay. The, the behemoth. Well, then, I'll see it after I check the mother computer. They're 99 cents with shipping on eBay. For the little gold plate cards. Pube, you come to the elevator, too. The mother computer is on level 3 while the hold is on level 1. That's amazing. I wonder if they're 3D printed. Unless they're original. FYI, I have no idea where the cargo bay is. I'm just going to walk around. <laughs> until I find it. You can get one with a certificate of authenticity for 15 bucks. Remember when Kirby whipped out his iPhone in 64? Yeah, it's crazy, huh? This ain't the cargo bag, correct? Two switches. Oh! Uh oh! No, why would I do that? Uh oh. Uh oh. How was the game about bug smoking weed? It was good. I didn't learn anything, but it was good. Oh, in the end, Pube never made it to Earth. Oh, I that was it. <laughs> I died. Alright, that was not the right thing to do. What did you do? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I just opened, you know, I just <laughs> opened the, the hatch. It looked like M it was MV3D or MZ3D, one of them. 
Live a life so good, man. One of my favorites. Oh hell yeah. So I just uh, launched myself into space, which I don't think I was supposed to do. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. This was deep. What's up, Mr. Chapstick? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. This is my first time playing with this one. Lol. Okay. We can go through all this again. Oh wait, no, never mind. Can't do that. I just want to make the latte. Remind me to. I gotta remember to save. I should put a save redeem back on my stream as well. A save reminder. Good old intrusive thoughts. Yeah, I know. It's like, what would happen if... Yeah, this one's good. This is a great game. Uh, I like all the characters. I like the cast here. Mario has, in fact, logged in. Oh. Uh, so I did add the balls command. It also works if you type something funny. Oh, if you, t if you type in the chat, no caps, please check my balls, Riggy. Uh, it will also give you a balls score. Oh, that's my robot. Right, right, right. Did it work? Please check my balls, Riggy. Wait, why would you guys type that? No, actually, type it one more time. Hold on. I close the I close streamer, but try it one more time. Please, please, please check my balls, Riggy. Please type it one more time. So close. Perfect. Perfect. So I need to add a, a, an identifier for whose balls thing it is, but that was very funny to see you all type that in the chat at the same time. I have a little egg, a quail egg. Please check my balls, Ricky. <laughs> yep, that was pretty good. Apes together strong. Whew. Up 20%. Congratulations. Oh, 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 wait, I wouldn't, wait, hold on. That should have been uh, not as long. I actually shortened that. 12, I thought 12 seconds of meatball was a little too much for a redeem. Okay, now I need to not let the intrusive thoughts win. We need 12 minutes of meatball. <laughs> you're right, you're right. 12 hour meatball stream. In place of my own. They said the cargo, cargo hull? Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it though? Hmm. He's not a bad guy, but I just don't really understand him sometimes. The Ricky! After all, he's rather jaded. The Ricky?
I'm also having trouble understanding what's up with Rachel. I mean, you and Kirk are basically polar opposites. Oh, Pube, come and take a look at this. <gasps> it's a cre- it's a creature. This is the cargo we're transporting. Ain't she a beaut? Well, as they say, every rose has its thorn. Or in this case, two massive fangs. Everyone, please come to the cockpit. What's the matter? Something's up with the comm system. Get a move on. Come on, warp speed. Don't forget that this is a military operation. S -s Sorry. Uh, Kato, before you forget, could you check out the air ducts? Sure thing. <gasps> you too. Don't be messing around here either. I gotta go somewhere else now? Guys, okay, so here's the thing. This game gave me save points in the menu so that I can do stuff like this. I thought I could open it. Let them out, let them out. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them. <laughs> Astronaut Garfield, I love lasagna and cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> if Garfield was an astronaut, that's exactly what he would say. To the cockpit. True. Stop it, all of you. True. I love gay Garfield. Which floor will you go to? Mm, three. <laughs> okay, up. Um, where'd you find that shirt, dude? Oh, it's dark in here, hold up. What did the captain say? He said to figure it out and get it working. Did you examine the sub antenna? Yeah, it's fine. The main and sub antenna are in totally different locations. There's nothing to worry about. It's really weird. We receive we can receive transmissions from home with no problem at all, but we can't send them out. Why don't we just wait until the thing stops working entirely? It might as well be totally kaput already. Communication's useless uh, if it only goes one way. Man, this is a pain in the ass. I'll just fix it manually. No sweat. I'll just hop outside, tinker a bit, and be back. Warp speed. He's gonna go out and fix it? No, he's gonna die, dude. I got a bad feeling about that. Guess we don't have a choice. Will you accompany Kirk outside the ship? Sure thing. I'll cover the airlock controls. Then I'll return and back you up from here. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Have you ever seen the RPG Architect? It's an early access engine designed to remove the limitations of RPG Maker? I've been messing with it and it's fun. I'm also a moron and the learning curve is steep. I'm also a moron, bro, so uh, no, no worries there. But if you, if you said it's fun, that sounds pretty cool. I haven't heard of that, but uh, I'd love to check it out. I think... I, I had an idea for a game jam where the uh, the whole idea was to use something you're not familiar with, but I got a little intimidated by that idea myself. Wait, I think I have to go outside. Where'd you find that shirt? Meatball bought it for me. Oh, it's from Uncle Meatball. Ugh. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Yeah, uh, the Lazon- the Gay Garfield T-shirt. I think you can get. I think if you just look up Gay Garfield T-shirt, you'll probably find it. Just try not to use one of those websites that's just clearly uh, printing it with a printer, so you can get a better quality one. Etsy would be probably a good place to find it. Meatball found it on Twitter, of course. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just a robot lost in the world. This is this is me if Pube was in no doubt. Are you sad that MatPat is retiring? I've never heard of MatPat actually. No idea who that is. A good jam using a brand new or unfamiliar game engine sounds cool. I thought that would be really fun. But I guess, uh, but for me personally, I'd be like mm, a little nervous about it. So I don't know if I'd host one, but I definitely would be a part of one. You celebrate Matt Pat retiring? Don't know who that is. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Probably not on the official Garf merch website. Stop it. This is not the time. What? Don't mess with me, you son of a bitch. Cut it out, Kirk. You keep out of this. Oh. Stop going off on pube like that. Don't you order me all around. Oh, no all. No all. Game theory guy. Nope. No idea. You're a damn coward. Don't you forget. That's why Rachel dumped you. Make sure you don't get screw make sure you don't screw up and get yourself sucked outside. Use dreams if you do decide to do a little game jam, Riggy. Oh yeah, dreams would be fun. Map Hat's a famous YouTuber with over 40 million combined subscribers. Doesn't ring a bell. No idea. I actually don't watch YouTube. Lol. Um Look at the hell, look how cute their suits are. Am I going to? Bring the robot, bring the robot, bring the robot. Oh, are you guys talking about that famous YouTuber, Fat Matt? Or Fat Bat? I forget what it is. It's an oversized, uh, uh, bat. Fat bat, yeah, he rules. Or maybe he's an he's a um. I don't know. Looks like he caught me at an embarrassing moment. Fat Mike, the singer of No Effects, exactly, dude, exactly, dude. We humans are pretty odd, aren't we? No, Killer Mike, Killer Mike. He's he's the guy from uh, he's the guy from um. From, uh, uh, you know, with LP. Big Chugs? The guy that chugs shit? <laughs> Beast, yeah, the Beastie Boys. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Run the jewels. No, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just, listen. Badland Chugs, sir. Are you talking about Fortnite right now, Evil Farter? How did how did we get to this conversation? Wait, I thought. Wait, hold on. Chug Jugs and 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 American Boy. What's that song called? Chug Jug with me. You love Peter Griffin. Fortnite. Oh God. I haven't done anything in goddamn Live Live because I've just been breaking my brain remember when Brian died yeah he died like 10 years ago the absolute devastated realization that Fortnite is kind of fun it is fun it's a cool game Fortnite's an amazing game really it's like Minecraft they're they're amazing games I'm just uh I'm just old my kids into it hell yeah I thought you'd remember when a dog died Riggy I don't listen listen Fart night, dude. That's pretty funny. Huh? 
Hello? Still the game. I remember when Brian died and then Lois said, I can't believe our dog named Brian is dead. <laughs> I didn't know they added a custom game maker. Hmm. That's pretty insane. So it's basically now Fortnite is uh, Roblox? Where am I going? I remember when my mice died, I was sad, and Fortnite is cringe. Type one in the chat if Fortnite is cringe. Type type two in the chat if Fortnite. <laughs> oh God! Exactly. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I haven't done anything in this game. I've been walking around this ship like an idiot. Fortnite. Um, they got into a fight and he went outside. Should I go open the the port now? I'm surprised more Roblox ripoffs haven't come out. I assume it's hell expensive. Next RPG maker gonna be Roblox inspired. <gasps> Rachel, we're all set to go here. I thought somebody was flatlining. Okay, then. I was going with that. I was ready. I streamed Fortnite the other week as a joke stream. It's literally just Roblox, man. It's whack. Wild. That's wild. That's crazy. I, 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 it feels compelling given that they've added all this stuff now. But like, oh my god, I just can't believe it. Okay, Kato, enter your password and switch it over to maintenance mode. Sure thing. Watanabe. Kirk, is something wrong? Uh, d don't worry, it's nothing. Hmm? Are you alright? I'm fine, don't worry about it. Uh... Ugh. K Kirk! <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? Hey, answer me. Uh-oh. What happened? Uh, oh, oh my god. The life support system in Kirk's suit just failed. I'm bringing him back inside. Oh shit. Go prep sick bay. I'm going in the uh, I'm going to the airlock to let them in. I'll go with you. Oh shit. No, we need you in the sick bay. Uh, I'm sure Kirk's fine. What the hell would you know? I'm going to the airlock. Guys, stop leaving me. I've seen someone play, uh, it's got Darth Vader and Goku and Rick and Morty all fighting and building shit, yeah. Playing games that are very unlike the stuff I like is an educational experience, also somewhat depressing. Fortnite is fart shite. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I heard RPG Maker Unite is not great. RPG Maker Unite is crap. This is cool. You could be a glizzy in Fortnite. Okay, maybe I'll play. Sounds like Mugen. Oh yeah. Wait, no, I probably should be in the. Where to airlock at? You can kill LeBron James with a Kamehameha as Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, that game is insane. Roblox has a game mode called Eat Sand, though. You, can you do that in Fortnite? Can you eat sand in Fortnite? Because, <laughs> uh... Sounds like a GOTY contender. 
Where they put the airlock in this damn place? No, but I'm emailing Epic James right now. We gotta play the Peter Griffin pet sim in Roblox that Donkey played. Is that real? Peter Griffin pet sim? Oh, I did watch that. Oh my god, I did watch that. I did watch that. Oh god. Lol. I forgot all about that. That's so weird that that is a thing, but I would play it. I would play that. I played weirder, I guess, huh? Where's the damn airlock? All you had to do, CJ, is follow the damn train. I wanted to play as Peter Griffin in Fart Shape, but you have to buy a battle pass and grind a level 70? I heard you could do that for free in Final Fantasy XIV. Open it up, baby. Let's go. Oh. Just have money, it's that easy, lol. Yeah, it's true. You guys wanna see what happens if I open this? Oh no, this is wrong. That's what we want. Nope, never mind. That's not what we want. Do we gotta go to the sick bay? This is fire. Is that this? No. Wrong. No. Nope. How are you feeling? In order to determine the correct course of action, the accumulation of data will be necessary. Do so by directly performing a variety of tasks in a variety of places. Come on! Really? Have you completed any other character stories yet? No, this is the first one I'm doing. What's wrong with Unite? I heard it was a big flop, but why was it? Uh, RPG Maker Unite was a big flop because it, it's missing features that you need. It uh, doesn't do anything good or uh, advantageous of the fact that it's in Unity. Um, it's just really weak and, and its price point is insane for how weak it is. Bro, we could have been a cowboy and said we were a pew bot lost in space. We're not- Wrath, we're not even lost in space, bro. We, we are lost in the ship. We're lost in the fucking spaceship, dude. <laughs> we could be anywhere else, but we're- we're in space. Uh, in the spaceship. <laughs> Let's hit one. I think my, my next curve will be will be to the play as the cowboy. The fact that it's an extension for Unity of all platforms. Oh yeah, during the time when Unity was literally like was like effing up. Where am I supposed to go? I guess we'll check every floor, right? It's a logical thing to do, huh? It's hard to quantify how bad Unite is. Right. Yeah, you you're you are putting it way more eloquently than I am. Uh it's just disappointing. Uh that they they could have done something that could have been an introduction to a good software <laughs> and then wasn't. Not that Unity, you know, I don't know. Unity just it was such a disappointment. And continues to be such a disappointment of a company or org or whatever. I'll keep using RPG Maker where they just they just don't change shit. They don't change shit else. Or MZ where they just don't change shit else except for like one thing every couple of years. Uh, 
I don't know where I'm going. I did not learn the layout of the ship at all. We must preserve RPG, MZ, and MV plugins so it remains the best engines. True. They're both very good. My personal favorite is 2K3. I like MZ, but it could have been an update. I agree. But to that point, I mean, at least it's good to know that they're still updating MZ. Uh, as evidence, evidenced by the couple days ago. What this? A light? Oh, there's a light switch? Okay. <laughs> I don't know where to go. This is not... Yeah, whatever. Do this again. You like 2K3? Yeah, sorry. Sorry to let you down. <laughs> it's pretty awesome how Pube doesn't make it to Earth. Am I right? Wait, oh, we can change the... We can change the, um thing my favorite's MV but I wish I had better layering like an MZ that's uh, yeah that's fair where he was coded in 2k3 it's that's actually true We're at the sick bay, which is where right. Oh, my God. I love the sprites. The pixel art is really good in this game. Finally found them. Did he die? Kirk! Where's the captain? Hey. I'll go call him. Damn. Kirk is dead. Thought he's going to transform into another Captain America. He's not breathing. His entire body is a peculiar shade of blue. Uh oh. Okay. To think that it just failed like that. I double checked it myself. It's really odd that it would fail. Damn straight it is. Unless someone deliberately sabotaged it. An explosion. What the? Heh. 
Where's the captain? He wouldn't respond when I called him. What the hell is up with the ship? Let's check out the source of that explosion. I'll go check on the cargo. You stay near Rachel. If anything happens, I'll be in the cockpit. Damn. Okay. Just gonna leave this dead guy right here. Thank you. I'm kidding. I'm not gay. Well. Oh, hello. Doesn't look like if there's, if there's anything unusual going on. Oh, oh my god. The, the antenna's broken off. This ship is a piece of crap. You'd almost be better off trying to swim through space. What do we do? What do we do? What's the matter with the captain? He was always worried about us, protected us. This ship is a piece of crap. You'd almost be... Oh, right, right. Make coffee? Hell yeah. Ricky, do you cook at all? Uh, not too, too much. Uh, my partner cooks a lot. Oh, I don't want to play Captain Square. No, I don't want to play. <laughs> well, just some raw chicken, but I'm worried I might get salmon vanilla. Do you think I'll be okay? You just you just some raw chicken, but I'm worried I might get salmon vanilla. Do you think I'll be okay? Eight? Yeah, you ate you ate with that one. You ate with that you ate with that message for sure. For sure. I think that if you actually eat more raw sal sal you'll get you can cancel out salmon vanilla with salmon manella. I think that's my uh, professional opinion, though. You know. I'll give him coffee. Thank you, pube. You're right. I need to hang in there. Oh, the coffee was the right thing to do. Captain. You'll get manila folders. That'll work. As long as the color's there. It's awful. Kirk is dead. What, are you serious? That's quite unfortunate. Well, we can at least give him a proper burial. Make the preparations. I'm on my way. Captain. Captain. That's one level-headed captain you've got. He lost one of his crew and didn't even flinch a bit. I'll go ready the airlock. Cook dinner a lot? Nice. I've never eaten them before, but everything's good with hot sauce. It's true. I'll go over to Kirk's room. Maybe there's something he'd like to buried with him. Good idea. What about Salmon Millie Vanilli? True. Girl, you know it's true. Now what? Everybody's so effing depressed now. Maybe this is why Usagi didn't like the chapter. Oh, their rooms are, I think, are on the other side. <laughs> Rachel's. <gasps> Enter my name.
Let's. <laughs> Unfortunately, died. Poop. Oh. Fine. Hmm, a book. Will work navigation become a reality? Just like Kirk to read something like this. Huh. Whenever Kirk was in a hurry to get something done, he'd say, What are you doing? Get that done. Warp speed. At least we can lay him to rest. Password? Peter just goes, well, he died. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk isn't dead. I want to talk to you about something. Meet me in the cockpit at 30, 3.30 hours. Thanks for coming. I was really happy. Once we get back to Earth, let's go on a trip somewhere. This is where I started. Out my tummy. Oops. so weird when the audio goes like that. Huey won't even let me into his room? That's effed up, dude. Everything so far is where it's supposed to be. Right? <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, it's there. <laughs> I thought the thing was gone. I can't believe this happened. It's true, I didn't really like Kirk, but I never wanted him to die.
Well, what am I? Who do I talk to now? This legit looks like it could be remade perfectly in RPG Maker. It could, but thankfully they remade it in beautiful HD, 2D, HD, or whatever. this place for two hours oh <laughs> uh, no like an hour and a half actually People do this kind of thing with RPG Maker anyways. That's true. What am I supposed to do? Where am I going? Where did he go? Kirk's body's gone. Oh shit. Okay. That was the good that was what I was supposed to do. I was a good robot. I did what I'm supposed to do, guys. I did what I'm supposed to do. I'm a good robot. Woo! That feels good. Well, oh, not you. I almost like this idea if there was a central villain each character interacted with. Oh, that'd be quite kind of cool. What happened? What are you looking at me like that for? How should I know? Besides, shouldn't you let Rachel know? Oh. Kirk. You're so cute, sleeping like a little baby. Hold on, I'll go and bake some cookies. You like cookies, don't you? Haha. <laughs> Uh oh. Well, what in the name of Huey? I know exactly what's going through your head. You thought that if you killed Kirk, you thought I'd come back to you, right? That's what you thought, right? Don't be ridiculous. Pull yourself together, Rachel. Run away, Rachel. Huey's after you. I'm waiting in front of the airlock. I need to get my body back. What? Rachel! What the 
fudge. He's not breathing. Like some ancient immortal evil that affects everyone's story and somehow you fight it. I am wondering if that's what this it's is about. Like... Yo, what's up, Salt? I need to get my body back. It's a me, Mario. What's up, dude? I hope you had a nice three year anniversary celebration. It's hard to believe we've been doing this for that long. You're gonna beat up this little helpless robot, DZ? You're gonna fight this guy? Look, you smacking this guy? You just beating him up? You just treating him like shit? He didn't do anything to you except be cute and a little robot and you're just fucking him up? The key is to get those both at the same time, the meatball soy and the release energy at the same time. The redeems, thanks dude. I'm still adding some more fun stuff, but I just wanted to do some like nice little minorly not too intrusive ones and go from there, you know? I haven't worked on my stream in a while, so it feels good to be doing something fun. Charlie Brown meatball? Come on, dude. Wait, where am I going now? The airlock. <gasps> the airlock. Something to spend my casual 453k on. Exactly, dude. Redeem for 2k3 MIDI fanfares win. That would actually be really funny. I'm adding Charlie Brown Ball's emote to the Discord. Come on. Enough already. Are you trying to kill yourself? Let me go. Rachel, get a hold of yourself. Enough already. Are you trying to kill yourself? Damn it, girl. Get a grip. Let me go. I'll do it. Um... Hmm. What? Oh, is that the creature in the basement? Is that thing out now? This guy? It's gone! Oh, it's out! <gasps> ah! Ah! Do I fight it? Yeah, I'm gonna fight it. <gasps> oh, you can't you can't fight it. It's it's a Mother 3 reference, clearly. Oh god. Look at him. This is sick. What? The behemoth escaped? Oh no. Oh shit, no! Oh no! Don't let go! Oh, thank god. We almost lost our boy. Do you have plans to play Power World? Probably not. Probably not. Not really my kind of game. Are you alright? Looks like nothing's broken.
Calm down. Remember what you saw in the infirmary? Come on, think rationally. It's a damn shame, but the man's dead. You're okay now, right? I'm going to scope things out in the cargo hold. You're dead next. Um... Thank you. Hmm. I don't exactly want to die out here either. Why did we bring the behemoth on the ship? It's me. Well, it's gone. I don't know where it went, but we're not safe no matter where it is. Let's regroup in the break room. Shit. I'm sorry. I, I mean, it was so sudden. I'm getting a coffee from my boys. It's so cute. Thanks, Pube. So tired. I'm sorry, Pube. I wanted you to be able to learn lots of fun things. You want one? I'll make you one, too. One for Salt King? Th th thank you, Pube. I'd like to say that it isn't hopeless, but given the circumstances... <laughs> okay, asshole. Can't carry anymore? Oh, he doesn't want it. I'm sorry. I... I mean, it was so sudden. So is this coffee! Thanks. Is everyone alright? How do we feel? The behemoth's got the run of the damn ship. What, are you serious? That's quite unfortunate. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? This is an emergency. How long do you intend to stay holed up in that room? What, are you serious? That's quite unfortunate. What are you serious? That's quite unfortunate. The behemoth? I don't want it to hurt Kirk. Dude, no. She's so dumb. Oh. 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 Don't worry, we'll catch that thing. Pew, it's dangerous out there. Oh. Better caffeinate. <laughs> Can't just leave them. Oh, good. It's normal temperature in there. Oh, shit. Huey. Is Rachel. Don't worry. She's still alive. Damn it, Huey. That was such a rash thing to do. It's okay. I just... Even now, I... Rachel... She may still be alive, but I'm not sure how much longer she can hold. We've got to go do something. Let's get her into one of the cold sleep capsules. She ought to be fine in there. Pube, can you go to the computer terminal? Ask the mother computer for the password to the captain's room. I know it's dangerous, but you're the only one I can ask. The music is wild. 
to move. Hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Here you go, talk to Mother Brain. Ah, oh, shit. Password for the captain's room. Very well, please stand by. Password confirmed. It's Oak Fadi. Oak Fadi. Oak Fire Department E. Thank you, Swag Bay. Happy Sunday, Swag Bay. Pube, you're okay. Oak Fadi's nuts. Oh, get the fuck out of here, you guys. You fucking jerks. Okay, here we go. Happy Sunday, dude. No time to lose. Let's move. No, I think we should play Dragon Quest 3 after this. You don't really think that the captain's behind all this? I can't believe that. Well, then who else could it be? Me? No, it can't be. Either way, we'll know as soon as we get the door open. Okay, let's do it. I bet the captain is not in the ship. That's my my guess is that the captain is not really here. It won't open. Just what are you doing? Just break the goddamn lock. I know, I thought of that. Hold on, pube, take this. You got the power jack. The battery is limited lifespan. <gasps> I can revive the little guy. <laughs> Captain. I thought so. Now the only ones left are me and you. Now get moving. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You killed all the others, didn't you? Me? What are you saying? Why would I? Whoops. I'm not one of you. I wouldn't have any reason to want to kill any of you, but I have no idea what kinds of grudges you might hold. No, it's not me. What? What would you know about us anyway? It's true, I wasn't really good friends with the others. But nobody hated anyone else. None of us would kill another human being. Everyone was just... They were just trying to live the way they wanted to. Struggling and mulling over things along the way. Just like anyone else. He's crying. Go away. Doesn't appear to be breathing. His face is a weird color. Lock on message replay. This is the Cogito Eggerson. We're currently on course for Earth. We should arrive there. Our time is. Huh? What's that? Ah! Somebody help! The door won't open. Oh. The real behemoth were the people. What a twitch. What a twist, such deepness. Why is this why is this going on? We're the only two left? They're the they're the only two left and uh This is crazy.
added another emote to the server. I'm a little nervous. Lol. Should I go check on Rachel on the second floor? Oh no, wait, Rachel died. Or Rachel was gonna die. She's in the she's in that room. The healing place. Or the, the sleep place. <gasps> Come here, Bia. Oh, Hugh and Rachel are in there. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Don't. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to go home. Oak Fiddy. Wait, where did I put that? I don't know. Remember. I do not remember where I'm supposed to put that. Wait, uh, you had the password, didn't you? Oak for these nuts. No? It's not the right place to put it. That song sucks. Testicular rupture, severe trauma affecting the tunica obogenia. Obo Post in Discord. What am I doing here? I made you very sad. Well, that's not good. Where am I going? If there's no people in these rooms. And we can't get in here. Not in the elevator. Where do we go? Two. Okay. 
Mother computer room. Right, where do I put the pain sword though? Hook for D. Oh, is that an underscore? Do I have to put that as well? Mm. Cold sleep. Oh. No, it's not these. Oh no. I live in a box so I can't afford membership. That's okay. Oh, the Kirby Superstar stream you made is members only. Yeah, I uh... Unless the, the entire stream is a, one particular game I usually private those and I've decided to make them a members perk but those those videos will come out my Kirby Superstar playthrough will be on and like all the other stuff will be clipped up and shown on YouTube right in like a couple weeks I try to schedule all of my stuff out when we do little sections of games I'm lost in here though I'm kind of considering uh, Kind of considering moving to a different scenario. Nope, this is still this too. None of that, none of that, nope, nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oak for D. This is the only place. Hmm. That's it, right? FDE. Hmm. Still the just a crap. Who's after him winning the front airlock? Oh, that maybe I go to the airlock. Maybe it's backwards. Let me try that. Oak, FDE, right? So E, EDF, EDF, deploy. No. Hmm. Hmm. I bet a caveman story doesn't have to deal with passwords and BS. You're probably right. so much wandering in this 
place. I'm gonna check the front airlock, I guess. That they're talking about. The old martial arts master scenario is cool. Hell yeah, okay. Wrong. No? I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. Everything that seems like a clue is not telling me anything. Right? Why does it give me a negative sound there, too? that I die. <sighs> but I just feel like for the past two hours we've been wandering in here for nothing. Oh, wait, what? why are you moving now, Captain? I thought so. Now the only ones left are me and you. Right, 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 get moving. Killed all the others, didn't you? Right, 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 we did all this. I give him coffee. What? If, perhaps he has coffee. I think I'm gonna transmit trans trans uh for uh for no, mm, I'm trying to think of the word to change my. I'm gonna change my desk. I'm gonna make my desk go down. Transform. I wanted to say, like, transmutate for some reason. Oh. Beautiful. 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 Alright, I think... I think I'm gonna stop for now. Riggy, how's the local Philly Chili's? I've never actually been to the Chili's here in Philadelphia. Or a Chili's in Philadelphia. I assume there's multiple. Oh, what the hell? Huh? Never mind, I guess we'll keep going. I'm gonna go see what's in here. Personal file, military notification, plan number, oh, lots of X's. Continue to monitor the organism even during transport. 
In the event that you notice any sort of reaction to the presence of humans, take care to write it down. It is of the utmost importance that it reaches its destination. Should the worst happen, its safety at the expense of human life has been deemed an acceptable risk. That is all. How about we go split a rack of baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs after this. Okay. That's all. Just a message in here. It's wild. What? A military notice. So that's what this is all about. I thought there was something funny about this. Why would anyone go out of your way to, their way to use a civilian cargo vessel just to bring that thing back to Earth? You had this planned all along. You went into my room. Just goes to show that you can't trust a robot. Since you want data on that monster, you use us like lab rats for an experiment. Calm down. That memo was in reference to what would happen should extreme circumstances arise. What the? Y you, you killed everyone. Let's get out of here, pube. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Do I hide? Oh god. the monster some coffee. Wonder what that would do. <gasps> oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Oh my god. This feels like an RPG Maker game. <laughs> Where'd you come in? I want to go where you're going. Where you went. Eee. If bugs could smoke weed, they would? Yeah, that's a, that's a game. Truly a game. What does that even mean? It's a game. You gotta watch the game and, and find out. I don't make the games, I just play them. Resistance is futile of taking control of the ship. <gasps> oh, I should probably go to the mama, mama jamma mama. Two. We gotta go to the the supercomputer. Nope. 
Nope. Currently, the ship is in a state of extreme danger. I'm currently looking for both Kato and Corporal Darth. Please take care of, to avoid the behemoth. Wait. Okay. Hmm. Where? Three? Level three? <laughs> oh my god, what, what was that? What the hell? <gasps> the other guy's gone. Ladybugs would take a hit of the J. For sure. When are you going to start playing Woodstock bossing, bossing Snoopy around? Oh, Rachel's dead in there. It's a me robot. He's doing the murdering. Uh oh. What the? What the hell? God damn it, that hunk of junk must have been the one that shut off Rachel's capsule. It's a hazard to, conti to our continued survival. I'm gonna destroy them both. Wait! Pube couldn't have done something like that. Hmm. What the? The true Pube didn't know the name I first thought to give him. Oh, fuck. Then this is the one. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, hell no, dude. I don't remember what it was. Fuck.
All right, let's play Dragon Quest. This was fun. I I have to play this again. But um, I'll probably have to re redo all that, and then also check to remember what he does say the first name is, because I know he does give him a bunch of names, and you're like, no, nah, no, nah, this whack, no. Nah. So when it said that, I was like, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> But it was fun. That was fun. I like this game. I really enjoyed the story. The story is unbelievable in this game. Um, but we'll be back. I'll probably play more of it. I think I'm going to try and go through all this game too. So I'm going to keep it on my list. But god damn it. 